guys welcome back to another collabmas tutorial today I'm collabing with Caitlin Harrison and we have decided to do a party look I've been doing a lot of very bold looks lately so I wanted to keep this one very quick and simple but also perfect for the party season first I took a little bit of peach smoothie on a blending brush and just blended it all over the lid then I took some creme brulee on a more detailed blending brush and just kept it very close to the crease just blended it right through the crease and then whatever was left on the brush just slightly blending it upwards then I'm taking Morocco from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills and again I'm just placing this right on top of creme brulee so it's really just to get a little bit of depth to the look then I took some of MAC Cosmetics melon pigment this is a gorgeous kind of a pinky gold and I just press this using a very small detailed brush from blank canvas right onto the lid and I also wet it with a little bit of Max Fix Plus to make it a little bit more pigmented a little bit more glossy this look is going to be so simple you won't believe it <laughs> uh, so next I'm just going to line my lids I'm using actually a brush from Morphe brushes I just ordered their liner brush just to try it out but honestly, it's the exact same quality as my Blank Canvas Cosmetics brushes, so I'll definitely be sticking with them. Uh, so I just applied the Morphe Brushes Gel Liner, and I just created a very thin line, keeping it very close to the lash line, because this is going to be a very simple, quick, and easy look. And then just applied a little bit of mascara. Now you can leave the liner out if you wish, or you could uh, leave the false lashes off if you wish. It's totally up to yourself. It depends how much time you have. So I just applied the Red Cherry 106 lashes. I did it, guys. I ordered a new bunch of lashes and they're all different types so I'm excited to try them out so these are the 106s and I like them because they're they're quite similar to the 43s but they're a little bit more fluttery and a little bit darker as well uh, so uh, moving on to the face I'm just using 17 cosmetics tan glow I love this stuff during the summer and I'm not a big fake tan wearer but I am wearing fake tan today which is why my neck is brown and my face is white uh, so I just used that to bronze up my face a little bit and then I applied my J Manuel foundation in light three now as you can see my face is still lighter than my neck so I went in with a little bit of jump rope play stick from benefit and I just blended this over the foundation just to deepen the color but as you can see I'm just focusing kind of around the center of the face so you're not getting that orange caked line in your hairline which I absolutely despise for concealer I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin and as you can see I'm just applying this to the areas that I want to bring forward that I want to highlight. I do have a full tutorial on how I highlight and contour with creams which I'll leave linked on the top right hand corner but I'm just using this today and just blending it out with a sponge um, and then I'm going to go into my powder. I'm going to be using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Contour Palette today and I'm going to be using a new technique called baking. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before but this is the first time I've done it in a tutorial so I'm just taking a very small detail brush and just this one is actually from the Robert Jones collection I've had it years but I just had a handy there and um, all my brushes are dirty at the moment uh, so I'm just packing on the lightest powder from the palette um, to the areas that I want to highlight and also just under my contour this will just you know stop you from going too far down with your contour as well and also help it look more on point uh, so now I'm just applying my contour I'm using the f15 brush from blank canvas and I'm using the NARS Laguna bronzer this bronzer is normally a bit too dark for me it's the bronzer that Kim Kardashian uses so as you can imagine she's a lot darker than me but it is a good contour when you're nice and brown and tanned or during the summertime but because I went darker with my foundation today I had to go darker with my contour as well so now baking is done I'm just going to dust away any loose powder on my face and then I'm going to go into my blush I'm using the NYX blush in Angel and it's a gorgeous baby pink blush and it just gives a little bit of highlight to the face Oh, it's just beautiful. For my highlight, I'm using the Balm Mary Lou because it's been a while since I've used this baby and you guys know how much I love it. So I'm just using a fan brush from Blank Canvas and just dusting it over the high points of my cheekbone. I'm just blending it out, making sure there's no harsh lines and I'm also contouring down the sides of my nose and applying a little bit of Mary Lou right in the center. 
Moving back up to the eyes, I'm just dusting a little bit of Morocco, the reddish brown which I used earlier on, and then a darker brown shade on top of it just to deepen the look, and then I applied a little bit of mascara. And then to finish off the eyes, I just took a foiled pigment eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This one is called Whimsical, I believe, and I just placed it or dotted it right in the inner corner for that pop. And lastly, for the lips, I use the NYX Matte Lip Cream because I used this in my last tutorial and you guys loved it. So I thought, why not use it in this video? And because red just screams Christmas to me, so you have to have red lips for Christmas, right? So that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was a lot easier to recreate than some of my past videos. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and also if you recreate this look don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter and also don't forget to check out Caitlin's video which I'll leave linked in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video.